Hello, I'm Julian Girard. Uh, I'm a scientist at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, and I'm here to present you the Roman Exoplanet Imaging Data Challenge. So this data challenge ran for eight months. It's now closed, and we are analyzing the results in this poster that I have at the Exoplanet 3 conference uh, that was supposed to be in Heidelberg. Too bad for me. Um, I'm going to show you what this major community engagement effort is about. Um, so we are talking about Neptune mass of Jupiter mass planet in reflected light in the visible. Uh, the motivation of the challenge was to broaden and deepen our knowledge as a community, uh, get the community acquainted with the new kind of CGI data, new kind of contrast, new kind of astrophysics, uh, giant planets in reflected light and also to develop, use, and improve data simulation tools and analysis tools. It's a cross-technique uh, exercise because we have simulated direct imaging data, but also radial velocity data as precursor and priors to the orbital fit. So orbital fit, uh, astrometry, and a blind search, that's the goal of the data challenge, unveil an exoplanetary system that we hid in the data um, so basically, the, this challenge is broken down in four different steps. Uh, you have to perform a um, PSF subtraction with uh, uh, either the Leo chronograph or the Starshade chronograph. We, we provide six epochs throughout the mission, and we provide this precursor RV data. So you do PSF subtraction, and you isolate point sources. You have to identify them, make sure they are not uh, contaminants, like background star or galaxies. Uh, you compute the orbital parameters uh, using a, a, a fit code, and then you refine them, eventually using the priors from the, the RV data, and you find uh, the orbits, the masses, uh, etc., and the parameters and the inclination, etc., of the planets. Uh, if you are very courageous, uh, you can go to this fourth step, which is to uh, uh, find the phase curve uh, albedo and radius of the planet, of each planet, uh, assuming it's an Lambertian uh, phase uh, function. So an Lambertian phase function, you can see, this is basically the noiseless simulation that we included. This is 10 years of data. Uh, we extract four epochs here for the hybrid Leo chronograph. Uh, we add astrophysical contaminants. Um, and then we also add speckle field. Uh, th those are simulations done at JPL. But uh, this is the raw data, but what it looks like. This is the basically the noiseless uh, data for one epoch. And you can see how you, the exosodiacal light that we also include uh, shows through the chronograph. And this is the PSF subtracted. Uh, the, the science grade data you have to work with, basically, and do the photometry and astrometry of those little dots that may be planets. So um, this, this is all based on the observing scenario 6. I'm not going to give too much details um, and talk about the lesson learned uh, during this challenge. We, orga we organized uh, four different uh, training events uh, and which a uh, very diverse crowd uh, those events were run in Baltimore, in New York, in Pasadena, and also in Tokyo prior to the Leo conference. Um, and so we have this uh, in-house analysis that we compare the, the participants' results to. Um, so the preliminary results are that three teams went really far in the challenge and were able to really uh, well identify the three planets that we had hidden. Uh, the final results are not given here. Uh, we are still uh, working on it, and we will organize a dedicated event in the fall to announce the winners, probably several categories and prizes. Um, so I just want to conclude uh, by saying thank you to those uh, different institutions. We had a wonderful team uh, running this challenge for uh, a year and a half, eight months for the challenge, but also the, the, the big preparation. Uh, all the material is still on our website, exoplanetdatachallenge.com. Um, 
And finally, I want to conclude with a remark that uh, Roman CGI, the tech demo that's supposed to be launched uh, in the mid 2020s, is our best shot as a community to access this kind of contrast, enabling direct imaging of giant exoplanets in reflected lights. Thank you.